Hello friends, welcome to the new section of the course and in this section we will talk about the preliminary design of beam, column and the slab. So why we do the preliminary design? Okay, so we have defined the uh, you know the beams here, we have defined the columns here but we haven't defined the size of the beams and columns yet and also we haven't defined the size of the slab though we are not going to draw a slab but we need the size of the slab for the loading purpose if you are an experienced structural designer then just by looking at your structure you will come to know about what size of the beam should I take and what size of the column should I take but I assume that most of you are starting the structural designing and in that case you might not be able to figure out the size of the beams and the columns or the slab thickness of the slab that is required for this building or the building that you are going to design so in that case what you have to do is you have to determine those sizes and those sizes are determined using the preliminary design and in this section we will learn how to do the preliminary design of beam column and the slab when the architect prepares the architectural drawing uh, he or she will calculate the size of the columns and also the size of the beams using the preliminary design so what you can do is that you can refer to the architect's drawing in order to find the size of the column so here you can see that the size of the column is one feet so it's one feet by one feet to find the size of the beam and the slab we go to the section so here is the section of the building so let's zoom in and the size of the slab uh, okay so let's measure it using the measure tool here and if we measure from here up to here the size of the slab is 4 inches that is 100 mm so which is pretty much sufficient for any kind of residential building and size of a beam is okay so let's take this beam as an example so the size here is 1 feet and 2 inches so 1 feet and uh, 2 inches if you convert to mm so it's let me see so 1 feet means 12 inches and 1 inch has got 25.4 mm so 25.4 plus 2 into 25.4 is equal to is around 355.6 mm so depth of the beam is 355.6 mm and uh, let's take let's take the size of the beam or that is the width of the beam okay so the width of the beam is from here to here if we measure it's 9 inches so 9 inches means 230 mm so 230 by 350 uh, if I take in the round figures beam size the architect has taken and the size of the column he or she has taken it's uh, one feet one feet is one feet is equal to 12 inches that is 300 mm around so you can take the size of the beams columns in this way or suppose that you don't have any architectural drawing this much of sophisticated architectural drawing uh, so you might come in any situation that uh, you yourself might had to might need to develop an architectural drawing or you're just working on rough sketches uh, you know just hand sketches in that case you might not be able to figure out uh, you know these drawings these sizes in that situation you have to determine the sizes by yourself so we will learn how to do that hello guys in this video we will learn how to do the preliminary design of this lab preliminary design of this lab that accent is really funny design of slab preliminary design of slab effective depth uh, let me explain you the concept of effective depth suppose that this is the depth of the beam or you can just say the slab I'll take the beam for easy purpose you got bars like this and the depth from here to here the entire depth of the concrete this is called the overall depth so d here is equal to overall depth same thing counts for the slab as well and the depth from the top of the beam up to the 
center of this rebar center of this rebar is the effective depth and it is denoted by small d so d is equal to e f f okay so c e f f e c effective depth so this is just a thumb rule thumb rule not hard, hard and fast okay thumb rule so effective depth d small d is equal to uh, shorter span of the slab shorter span of the slab divided by 35 to 42 so if you want your depth to be small you can take 42 higher end and if you want your depth to be large you can take 35 so let us take uh, 42 just for here okay so let us take what it gives us and uh, so let us measure uh, the slab so you can see that we got a uh, different slab panels so here we got okay so let's go to the first floor and here we get one two and three slab panels and uh, so let us uh, let us not count these one-way slabs okay and we don't have any slab over here just this is small slab portion so uh, the, this is 10 feet 9 inches by 13 feet this is 11 feet 5 inches by 13 feet so we'll take the largest of all these okay and these two uh, pretty much they are same i guess so it depends so it's 11 feet it's 13 feet okay so this is the biggest slab uh, let us take the size of this slab okay it's 12 feet 9 inches by 13 feet 9 inches so we'll take from the center of the column to the center so from this center to up to uh, this center this slab okay uh, the length is 13 feet and 6 inches so what we're going to do is that we'll convert uh, this 13 feet and 6 inches to meter so let's do that one meter has got 3.281 feet which means that if i just show you here okay i'll just show you this at this edge so one meter is equal to 3.281 feet which means that one feet is equal to one by 3.281 meter isn't it unit unitary matter simple so 13 feet 6 inch means 13.5 feet divided by 3.281 meter so this is 13.5 feet okay so this is this uh, let's do that so we could do using the excel so i'll just use the calculator for now so 13.5 13.5 divided by 3.281 is equal to how many meters 4.11 so this is equal to 4.21 meter okay and uh, let us take another span so another span is equal to another span is equal to so you have to take the biggest slab and of the biggest slab you have to take the shorter span so it's again 13.6 inch so it's a square slab so we'll take 13.6 inch as our shorter span okay and suppose that if this span was uh, like 12 feet in that case you should have taken this span all right so uh, let us go to one note again and uh, so we'll do 4.21 4.21 by let's take 42 so it's 4.2 if i convert it to uh, mm oh sorry it's 4.11 so we'll just divide this answer by 42 and we'll get and it, if we multiply it with 1000 we'll get the result in mm so it's 97.966 mm 97.966 mm so let us take nearly equal to 100 mm this is how you do the preliminary design of the slab hello friends in this video we will see the preliminary design of the beam so preliminary design of design of the beam preliminary design of the beam so similar to the slab what we do is the effective depth d here is shorter okay so span of the beam 
span of the beam so not the shorter span span of the beam divided by 12 to 15 so in this uh, condition what which beam should you take you should take the longest beam so here uh, if we see the AutoCAD drawing you can see that this beam or this beam is the so these two beams or these two beams are the longest beam here so why do we take the longest beam or why did we uh, you know take this uh, biggest slab it is because you know if a certain slab size or certain beam size satisfies uh, these larger beams in that case that size also will satisfy the smaller beams so that is why we take the largest one so let's take this one so 13 feet and 6 inches that was equal to how how much 4.11 meters and uh, let's divide 4.11 by so it's 4.11 divided by let's take 15 and uh, so effective depth d of the beam is equal to so let's use the calculator okay let's take go up up so this is where we converted the size let's do is equal to now it is it has this value has been saved as the answer and if we divide this by 15 and if we multiply it with 1000 so it's 274.306 mm uh, so okay so 274 mm and if we divide it by 12 let's do it by 12 okay is equal to divide this answer by 12 into thousand if we do we get 342 mm that is nearly equal to 350 mm so in a residential building generally uh, the size of the beam is taken as 350 by uh, 230 mm so once you practice you will know this and you have to take your value closer to that we'll divide it by 12 and uh, we'll get something 3.342 point something something mm okay mm so this is in meters and we'll take nearly equal to 350 mm one thing that i forgot to tell you in slab uh, design is that so we got the effective depth as d okay the overall depth turns out to be overall depth for both the slab and the beam the principle is same uh, d is equal to effective depth d plus you have to add the half of the rebar plus the clear cover okay because this is your effective depth you add half of this rebar and after that you add this clear cover okay so this portion and if you do that you will get the overall depth d so here uh, the over effective depth if we take okay so try to make your uh, overall depth nearly equal to uh, you know 350 uh, because that is generally the size of the beam taken and it is easier to work out and if however in the design while we are designing the building we find that uh, this uh, size is not sufficient the beams will fail in that case you can increase the size but for the time being you know should you start with 350 mm don't go with sizes like 360 370 and that might be a bit uh, hard to work at the site uh, that might you know be uh, surprising for the workers to walk at the site because they are used to the usual sizes so uh, let us suppose that uh, let us take uh, you know uh, effective depth d as 300 mm and half of the rebar so let us assume we will be using the rebar of 16 mm so 16 by 2 it's 8 mm plus clear cover for beam is generally 25 mm so this is 300 okay so 300 plus uh, 8 is 300 so 300 plus 25 is 325 plus 8 is 333 mm so uh, let's take nearly equal to 350 mm okay so this is how you do it and similarly you have to change the factor here as well and uh, for this lab also you can do the same this is just a thumb rule and it is not hard and fast rule so we got the uh, overall depth of the beam as 350 mm now what we're gonna do is we will find the breadth of the beam okay so breadth of the beam b is equal to d by 2 2 2 by 3 of d uh, so let's take a 2 by 3 of d is equal to 2 by 3 into 350 which is equal to so if we do it using the calculator 
okay so 2 divided by 3 into 350 is equal to uh, 233 okay and uh, so 233 and let us ap approximate it to 230 mm so that is 9 inches so this is how you find the breadth of the beam and one thing that I need to tell you is that so if this is your beam and if we say that the depth of this beam is uh, overall depth is 350 mm which means that the depth of the slab is included so if this is our slab this is the slab and this is the beam so 350 mm is from here to here 350 mm okay and the depth of the slab that is 100 mm this is 100 mm and this is the breadth of the beam and you can see this thing in the section of the uh, our structure as well so if we see the section here and you can see that so from here to here so this is the section right so this is the slab okay so from here to here it's 100 mm from here to here it's 100 mm so this is the size of the slab only and the depth of the beam is from here to here not here okay from here to here it is the depth of the beam